How did the Indians fare on the road against Crosby tonight? We showed up. The game was tied 7-7. Seven to seven. Rashawn Johnson is going to bust it into the end zone. A two-yard touchdown run. Indian Nation rolled with the Cherokee. Get those hand claps going. Yeah, always be faithful to the purple and white, they say. Next PNG drive. Rashawn's going to pass to Cooper Hammond. Here it comes. No fumble is going to be called on this play as you watch it roll. Mm, nice little move. Just missed one tackle, two tackles. Ruled down, though. So next play, Rashawn's will take advantage. Oh, Luck's not on his side, though. It balances out. This is a pick. Nice play by that Chris Crosby defender right there. Crosby then comes back on offense trying to strike and take advantage of the T. Oh, and they're going to run this reverse pass for a touchdown. We knew Crosby had a strong run running game, but this one's going to tie it 14 to 14 as he slips into the end zone. Indians, though, they are going to respond, put it into the hands of number two, and he'll get the job done on the quarterback keep. Yeah, read it, run it, 30 yards. Another time tonight, we see somebody go about 70 yards when they need 30. Touchdown, though, that's all that matters for PNG. The band's rocking and rolling. Crosby kicks a field goal to go up. 27 to 14 at halftime as we go to the final score. PG wins a barn burner 48 to 45. Not 72 to 69 like last year in the playoffs, but guess what? It's a win for Coach Faircloth. The Indians remain undefeated in 12-5A Division II.